Welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Pillars of Eternity 2. We're going to be working on the matter of import. We're supposed to meet at a rendezvous location west of Nekataka, which is where we are now. There should be a boat somewhere around here. I'm going to try to gain some XP, maybe hopefully a level. Is that who we're supposed to be meeting? Supposed to be meeting... Wilda. That's Rolf. Um... My neck is right over here. Where else would they be? And we can land here and grab some of the, these supplies. Actually, equip that water we just picked up. And what else did we get? Fresh fruit. Where the heck's the rendezvous boy? Okay. How far west of Nagataka do we need to go? You're not who I'm looking for. Okay. We've almost drank all that water we just found. What else do we have? We are... Probably gonna have to head back in the port, unfortunately. Where the heck are they? Stock on rice.
Let's do that. That's west. Not seeing. Literally one called Rendezvous Point. I don't see that here. Where the heck are they? <clears throat> Predetermined spot west of Nakataka. I'm there to meet her. Members arguing on the deck, shouting at us, investigate. Most of the crews gather midships, uh, rough fighting ring, each cheering and jeering. Find ruckus. Uh, battle, but Al frowns at your appearance and gestures to the circle. Apologies for distraction, Captain. It looks like him and girl intended to have it out. Something about bunk assignments. Uh, it's a circle. You push through the crowd. Come see the action captain. Do you want to put money on it? Mine's on the ugly one. And... Let's, uh, let's get Bedouin to get him under control. Oh, and somebody's injured. Excellent. I do this. We got people resting, don't we? I don't even see that guy. Oh, here he is. Injured for seven days. We do have a spare helmsman. All right, that way he can rest at 30% heal rate. So six days he needs to rest. Now this raises the question, where in the heck are these people? This is pretty far west. All the way down to Tikawara. You're not the guy. I am east of Hekataka, aren't I? Yep, that's the problem. Good grief. Good grief. I've been looking in the east the whole time. That's the problem. Well, we'll probably have to restock on water again. I can't believe that. Yeah, let's go ahead and restock on water before we get uh, get ourselves in trouble. Let me. There we go. It's not who we're looking for. All right. Supply. Water. What else can we get for drinks? How much is lager? Yeah, we'll do that. 
All right, now let's actually check the correct area. Well, I haven't explored the island of Nekataka much, but... Looks like a lot of those areas are above my level anyways. Knock at the door of your quarters. <clears throat> Message board your ship is thickened. Uh, when you answer the knock at the door, you find Chippick wiping away sweat strained with a tattered rag. What's a problem? What kind? A few of the crew are getting into a row with a big B. With Britta. I don't know about it, but if it keeps up, I'm worried the brute will sink the ship. Uh, Chivik follows you on the deck where a cool breeze immediately chills a crowd of shouting sailors who gather towards the bow. You proceed towards them. You're not sure where Britta found the massive knotted post. She's swinging back and forth to keep the angry crew distant. <clears throat> but each arc threatens to take part. Take out the ship's sail. The people have knives out and are yelling at the ogre. Yeah, everybody listen up. All right, this is the way we deal with our problems. Everyone get some grog and cool off. Um, maybe not. Raw crew, we sail and bleed together. There, we got a better chance of getting that one. Oh, failed. Head shaking, sadly. Uh, Gordo Redhead chuckles. You're trying to make us feel like a wilder is family to us. The others keep muttering. Uh, what's going on here, Berta? You have this piece of lumber at the crew. Stupid kid think Berta at fault for every bad thing. Don't blame selves. Don't blame you. Must be Ogre's fault. I will smash the brains out since they don't use them. That's nonsense. Let's see what Eld Ingram has to say. Well, Captain, we were talking, no doubt, of trouble lately on the ship. We can't solve everything, but we certainly can do something about the Ogre eating up all our stores. Critter don't eat that much. <clears throat> Just enough for a real woman. I'm more worried about what will happen if things get worse. Ogres aren't known for their good judgment. Okay. Let's try this again. Failure. Right, I feel like I'm stuck in a perpetual... Yeah, I think I'm stuck in a perpetual cycle of failure here. All right, let's draw my weapon. If you don't get back to your goddamn stations, I'm going to strip you skins for sales. Ah, stop. Kill any of my crew members. But I don't think I have any other choices. Alright, well, I guess who am I going to kill then? Um, I don't know what. Uh, oh, here we go. Seasoned deckhand. What's Berta? Nothing? Season Cannoneer. Uh, 
I guess. Does she not do anything? I guess she's the one who's got to go then. Whoops. That gained 20 morale killing one of the, one of the crew members. Good grief. Okay, now that we're actually west of Nekataka, maybe we can figure out where this rendezvous, this rendezvous point is. We got a derelict Valerian ship. <laughs> uh, not remains of a ship four mass, save a splintered stump and the mouse print. See how they crippled her? It's the work of Pirates Principe, most likely, and probably the upstarts. They're raiding close to the valley and patrol routes. Uh, don't take any gold. My left supplies. Stop with whatever's left. And we fail. Rise, hard track, water. A ship with lines of a valiant privateer comes before you. The crew of the fight scurry cross ready to combat. By the time you return to ship and hauled anchor, let the sails privateer is on you. The crew rushes the battle stations. Um. Uh, oh, is this how, uh. Plus three. It's attempt to retreat, I guess. Success. Fled from inferior opponent. Well, according to what I can see, they weren't an inferior opponent. But whatever. Oh, there you are. Perfect. Well, that took entirely too long to find her, mostly because I was looking in the wrong place for a majority of it, but. A long sleep ship rides low in the water. Its crew stands protectively around a cluster of crates. Positioned on the main deck, a woman saunters across the deck, her roughly chopped hair swinging in stride. We said or not, Perrin. <sighs> I'd happily tell you if you stopped interrupting my count. She capples, thumps him on the back, staggers forward, and shoots her a venomous glare. You've had days to count. Mm. Now it's time we talked about the price. <clears throat> Careful. This one's got friends in the Consuelo. Consuelo? Oh, Council. In that case, I'll honor the original price. Consider that a discount among friends. All right, well, there you go. Glad we could do business. Now that's going to take us back to Suka. Smugglers unload the crates under your ship. New cargo secured. You retract anchor and set sails. Should be able to. We got a new place apparently. Hothwain. Uh, we want to go to say back to Sayuka, so we'll head that way. As your crew hauls the smuggler's crates below decks, one of them shouts the alarm. There's someone hiding in it, they're trying to rob us. Captain Quick, someone just popped out one of those crates we just picked up. Or you can object Eld Ingram leads you above deck. A plump middle-aged woman stands beside the crates. Her clothing is rumpled, her hair matted, but her eyes twinkle in triumph. You love the 23 days. This is a new record. Congratulations. I'm sure that's really great. It is more than great. It is the successful test of my newest spell, Renove Miseris. Renewal of air, you would say. Okay. Kith have explored every mountain in the Eastern Reach, yet the realm of fish and leviathans remains close to us. It has been my dream to open these steps to discovery. To let Kith breathe as the fishes do. 
Okay. Or at least to let us use the air of a single breath again and again. So why go to Sayuka and leave the Valiant Republics? Back home, they care only for profit, and there is little profit to be had in sticking your head in the glass bucket to watch the fish. I'm sure there's plenty of ships to salvage and make money off of, but okay. But the Rawataians, they have vision. They chase greater things than gold. So I go to work with them. Let me get this straight. You've been perfecting a spell that recycles the air and you use it to help the Rautuans make something big? So you do understand. But I can say no more. The Rawataians, they have sworn me to secrecy. Okay, what exactly are you working at on at Sayuka? Sientere, but I had promised not to say. I still don't understand why you had to hide in a crate. Neither do I. Oh, it didn't finish. But Ayuka, she thinks... Maybe the ducks will not be so happy to let me go. At least it gave me plenty of time to test my work. All right. Yes, I have much to do. Many more tests to run before we reach Sayuka. A pleasure talking, Captain. Okay. That was odd. Hopefully, we should be able to switch back to our seasoned helmsman here soon. Sayuka, at last! I must go. Discovery awaits. Agrasima, Captain. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Fleet Master's quarters, tell her about the delivery. Hopefully we get some money and some XP. No doubt the druids plot their next attack even as we speak. Hansuri Kur asked me to deliver some cargo to you. I've received a report from the Dockmaster stating as much. The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. Okay, the only option I have is to say nothing about the smugglers, so I'll do that. Well, I've received a report from the Dockmaster stating as much. The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. Uh, you didn't say anything about carry, ferrying human cargo. Why would she? You're a courier. In any event, the Hazanui's missive suggested you might be able to help us with an issue at port. Oh, go ahead. You may have noticed the outsized coral in the harbor. I have. There's something unnatural about the coral's growth, about everything on this island. And no matter how we trim it back, it only grows larger. My engineers deduce that the origin of this disturbance is somewhere off the coast of Sayuka, and I'd like you to investigate. That's something we can do. Talk to Avera in the workshop if you care to learn more. I would be grateful for your help here, Watcher. Okay. Overgrowth. You found me with a rare spare moment. Uh, I think that's all we need to know from her. Let's head on over to that workshop and see what the deal with that is. This is probably the person I tried to talk to oh, earlier that was too busy. There he be. There be Romaro. Sure is my ass be blue. Okay. I don't see where you are. But well, we just happened to run into Romero, apparently. I wish you'd not come, my lad. Please, though I be to see you. Even Aldi's anarchists spare no mercy for mutineers. Aye, but you, a traitor? The very thought of it be ludicrous. Return with us. I'll be protecting you, and we'll be seeing your fair judging. I can't, Blue. Much as I loathe to leave. I'm dead to these waters, and they to me. Break my biscuits and call me Swabby. You've gone addled in your dotage, ain't you? Captain. Unsheave that silver tongue of yours and talk some damn sense into this old sort. Why'd you leave Fort Deadlight? You might have been safe there. 
That's probably not true. I couldn't bear to remain, sheltered or no. It's a hopeless feeling, bearing witness to the slow decline of something I once held such pride in. Yeah, we did kill a bunch of people there. There's still be pride to be had. Honor, too. Things be changing, sure as shit. But you can't thread them narrows if you ain't even it to wheel. I hope I'm wrong. If only for your sake. I don't think the Principe can survive as is. And I can't watch something I devoted my life to sink into ruin. So you're just fleeing your problems. Ark. These roomy eyes have seen too much. Nepotism and cronyism run rampant, rotting the Principe from inside out. Yeah, that's normally how it goes. Power consolidates behind the least deserving. The Consuelo's leadership founders, and with it, my faith. But lay that plan of you, old sea dog. You're no good as any. There ain't no faith on these waters. Save that, you'll be finding for yourself. Betwixt your brains and my swagger, we'll be right in the good ship Principe San Patrina forthwith. And be shot of these ship squiffy doldrums. A fine dream. I pray to Andra that you achieve it. For me, though, the current flows but one way. A return to the Principe would mean my death. Is it true what you're accused of? I've not heard every charge against me. But that of mutiny, of that charge, I bear guilt. Ooh, boy. Why? The sorcerer were our own in kin. We're a cock swelling pride. And you barred it to an half drowned old elf for a pint filled fucking clipper. Fourteen years I spent swabbing them decks. Longer yet for you. Captain Bastion trusted you. I trusted you. Ak. Bon my Miko. Sientere, Seraphim. I've disappointed you. Hurt you. No words can justify my actions. I only hope you believe me that I did what needed doing. How can I? Uh, did this have something to do with your captain trafficking slaves? How did you? Captain Bastion had the sorcerer slaving. Oh, didn't like that, eh? That's, uh, that's understandable. Slaving? What kind of fathomated horn swoggle be this? The sorcerer were my kin. They weren't slaving. I hunted slavers for the captain. We freed slaves together. So I also believed. But Bastian sold those we saved to the Crookspur slavers. I found records of it in his quarters almost a decade's worth. When I confronted him, it went poorly. Yeah, I figured. All right, let's let the vision come. Sand beneath your feet, crusted and bloodied. Uh, you, young and small, filthy and shaking and bright, cheers from all corners, jeers too, and the shouts of the kith before you. Anima and thrice your height, heavy muscled, soft, fat, wrapped in bright robes. Don't make me go again. You plead, don't make me. His heavy hands send you sprawling into the sand to a chorus of jubilant applause. You bounce to your feet as other slave boy approaches. You feel his thoughts and a tickle in the back of your mind, his fear greater than your own. But what you can do, only one may live. You silence everything but the anger, but the hate, and it propels you snapping teeth and grasping hands, the blows of light but fast, and the other youth all screwed. Sientere, bon amico. Forgive me. I meant you not to know. To keep your faith in our traditions, to remain optimistic, a bright star within the Principe. You okay, Stefan? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, we'll leave you be, Romero. Agracima, Watcher. The clipper will be loaded soon, and then we'll be away. Cores, Seraphin. Bon amico. Take this. May you have rare cause to use it. In the atom fire in the hole. I hope we meet again someday. On calmer seas. Caress, Bonamico. All right. Ahoy, Captain. Ahoy yourself, Sefford. Truth be told, I've not felt so cozy in a crew since my tour on the Sorcerer. 
with Romoro and the lot. Good times and enough, that. Yeah, you're a valuable member. By way of expressing my gratitude, I have a tribute to be presenting. It's meant to be worn by a great captain. I think you rightly qualify. And I think you'll look right spiff in it, too. Where'd you get it? Romaro gifted it to me when I took leave of the sorcerer. He had this notion I'd make captain myself someday. Um. Thanks. I appreciate it. Pleasure be entirely mine, Cap. May it serve you at least half as well as I. All right. Uh huh. That quest is done. We didn't. Oh, he still wants to talk. You be boring a hole in me with them eyes, Cap. I'd offer an ogle for your thoughts, but uh, I prefer not to make deals. I ain't got no intention to keep. Uh, I don't think it's could have gotten better on Sakua, where we still are, but they could have gotten worse, too. Oh, I'd be fine, actually. Strange, though it be. If you want to talk, I'll listen. Uh, I'm not sure there'd be much to say, Captain. At least you got someone to stay with if you ever travel out west. Had that myself until someone broke my castle. <laughs> That'd be a point and a half. Mayhaps I'll go find myself Romaro one of these days. After we've done dealt with everything here. Okay. Alrighty, so we will head into the workshop and talk to the engineers about the next quest line we're heading off to. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to do that next time. Thank you all so very much for watching, and have a good one.